Hello, uh, let's look at this example. So we're going to calculate some probabilities. So the table in the problem uh, describes the distribution of a random sample S of 100 individuals organized by gender and whether they're right or left-handed. So this is called a contingency table. Uh, you have uh, two categories, like the gender and uh, handedness. All right, and uh, within that table, you're given the distribution of how many of each, okay? So uh, we're going to have M is the event that the subject is a male, F the subject is female, R is right-handed, left is left-handed. We want to calculate the following probabilities, all right? So probability that I pick a male out of my group, okay? So I have 100 individuals in total. So what you want to do with contingency tables is find some totals. It's good to fill in this table to find some totals on the side here. So 100 is all the people in total. I'm going to put totals here and totals here. If I add 43 plus 44, I get 87. That's the total of right-handed people. Uh, 9 plus 4 is 13. That's the total left-handed people. 43 plus 9 is 52. That's the total of males in the sample. And 44 plus 4 is 48. That's the total of females in the sample. So if you add these totals, you should get the 100 people. And if you add these totals, you should get 100 people. Okay? So the probability that I'm going to randomly pick a male is going to be the 52 out of 100 males. You can write this fraction or as a decimal probability of 0.52. Probability that I'm going to pick a female is going to be 48 over 100, which is 0.48. Probability that I'll pick a right-handed person is 87 out of 100, so 0.87. And probability of a left-handed person is going to be 13 out of 100, or 0.13. All right, let's look at some of these now. I'm going to do some combined probabilities. Probability M and R. So here I want the person that I pick to be a male that's right-handed. So I see there are 43 right-handed males out of the 100 in the sample, so this is going to be 43 out of 100. Right. Probability of F and L would be left-handed females. That's going to be 4 out of 100, or 0 0.04. Right. Now with or, okay, male or female, so male or female, there's no overlap between them. So you're just going to add the probability of the males plus the probability of the females. All right, so with no overlap, you just add the two different probabilities. So 52 over 100 plus 48 over 100, you get 100 over 100 because we don't have any uh, binary or non-gender conforming uh, data in our table, uh, so it's going to be a probability of 1. Uh, probability of male or right-handed. Okay, so these uh, could overlap. Okay, so I have males of right-handed, so, so this is going to be the probability of males plus the probability of right-handed people, but because there's overlap, there's like 43 that are both, you have to subtract the males and that are right-handed, otherwise you're going to count them twice. Okay, so all the males are 52, all the right-handed people are 87. You see, if you do that, it's going to give you over 100%. But you have to subtract the 43 right-handed males because these are included into uh, these two groups, okay? So this is going to be over 100, of course. So we have 
Let's see, 52 minus 43 is 9. 87 plus 9 is 96 over 100. So this is 0.96. All right, female or left-handed. Again, there is overlap between female and left-handed people. The four of them are in both groups. So we're going to do probability of a female plus the probability of a left-handed person minus the probability of a female that is left-handed. So 48 females plus 13 left-handed people minus the four that are in both groups, so you don't want to count them twice. All right, so this is going to be 44 plus 13, which is 57 out of 100, so 0.57. All right, probability of M prime. So this is the probability of the people who are not males. All right, so we have 48 people who are not males. So 48 over 100, we get 0.48. All right, let's look at conditional probabilities here. All right, so probability that I get a right-handed person given that I'm just looking at the males. Okay, so this means that I'm only looking at the male row. This is my sample space now. I tell, tell all the females, uh, please go have a break. I just want to talk to the males right now. So there are 43 out of 52 right-handed males, right? And I'm not going to turn that into a decimal. You can. I, I should. I will. 43 out of 52. 0.83. Approximately. All right, next one. Probability that you get a female if you just look at the left-handed group. Okay, so here we're looking just at the left-handed group. This is your sample space, and you want to see the probability that it's a female. So Four out of 13 in that group are females. So four out of 13, this gives me 0 0.31. Right, this is probability that out of all the females, you pick a left-handed person. All right, so let's see, pick this one. So your sample space is all the females now. And you want to see what's the probability that out of the 48 females, you pick somebody who's left-handed. So four left-handed people out of the 48. So four divided by 48 gives you one over 12, which is 0 0.083 repeating. Okay, good. So this is a bunch of examples with finding probabilities from a contingency table. Uh, single probabilities and or complements, conditional probabilities, and so on.